Hello guys, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to download and set up the new Scatter desktop application. As you can see on the Scatter website, there is no longer two download links. There's only one download link and this takes you to the Scatter desktop download page on GitHub. So Scatter is no longer supporting the Scatter Chrome extension. So the Scatter desktop application is the one you're going to want to use if you haven't downloaded Scatter yet or even if you have used the Chrome Scatter extension, they are no longer going to be updating that. All the development is going to be happening on Scatter Desktop. So let's jump in how to download and set it up. So starting off here on git-scatter.com, there's two ways to get to the download link. You can either come here, click Download Scatter, or up in the right-hand corner, click Download. So we'll just click up in the right-hand corner here. And that takes you to the GitHub page for the Scatter Desktop. Git Scatter, Scatter Desktop. And the latest release is up at the top. And if you didn't see the video yesterday, this is the new release where they added Tron support. So, pretty cool. You can now use Scatter for EOS, Tron, and ETH. And here are the download links. So you have Linux, Mac, and Windows. So based on what kind of machine you are on, that will determine which link you are going to click. I am on a Windows machine, so I am simply going to click Windows Scatter, whatever the latest version is, .exe. So click it and allow this to download. Okay, now the executable file has fully downloaded. So on Chrome, if you have not X out of this bar at the bottom, you can just click this. If not, go to your downloads folder and click the executable file you just downloaded to run it. So I'm going to do that simply by clicking down here, and that'll open the executable file. Now if you are on Windows, this Windows protected your PC might pop up uh, just because it doesn't recognize Scatter. And in order to run it, all you need to do is come to More Info, Run Anyway. Just make sure you are running the file you just downloaded, Windows Scatter, yes, Run Anyway. Now here is your installation options. For me, I always keep this whatever it has it. So next. The destination folder, I always keep that where it wants to put it as well. Click install. Alright, so now Scatter is installed. A desktop icon was added up here, you can see. So you can either, when you click finish, have it run Scatter automatically or click the desktop icon. I'm just going to finish like this and then click the icon just to show you that it's working and you click scatter and scatter pops up so now we are into the process of setting up the scatter now that it has been downloaded so here you will input a password for your scatter and confirm the password and you can either create new scatter or import from backup if you do know where your scatter backup file is you can import from backup but if you don't you can always create a new scatter and import your keys and we're just going to be creating a new scatter and importing our keys so click after you do your password and confirm it click create new scatter and your 12 word backup phrase will pop up once you click create new scatter so you're going to want to copy this down and keep it in a safe place the safest place is always offline off of a computer written down by hand but it is up to you how you want to store it so go ahead and copy down your 12 word phrase and once you have your backup phrase copied down, click OK. And here is just the terms of Scatter. You can read through them if you'd like to. Quite a long read, but once you're done reading it, either click Accept or Reject. In order to proceed with Scatter, you're going to need to click Accept. So I'm going to click Accept. Set your backup location. Scatter has no way to recreate your secure vault. So because of this, we enforce automatic backups of your Scatter to your local device to make sure you always have a backup of your digital assets. So here you'll just click choose automatic backup location and you will decide where you want to put your backups. And once you do that, you are into your scatter. So to add your keys, you need to come up here to vault, click new, create new or import. If you want to generate new keys, you will create new. If you already have your keys, which means you already have your EOS account created, you just want to add it to scatter, you'll go to the import feature. And at any time up here, you can name this entry. Um, so the first one I'm going to put in is 
send EOS to Rob. I just name it the same as the EOS account I'm going to attach. So I'm going to attach send EOS to Rob EOS account. So that is the name I put in. And if you have a hardware wallet, you can click hardware and connect it via this. Uh, you can now use your Ledger Nano S EOS accounts with Scatter. But if you just have a text key to put in, text or QR is what you want to click. And once you click that, here's where you'll input your private key for the EOS account that you want to attach. So let me write that in. And once you input your private key, it'll automatically pull up the account. And at this time, when you input your private key to your EOS account, it's also going to create a Tron account and an Ethereum account for you. So every time you input a new EOS account, you're also going to have a Tron account and Ethereum account added. You know, you don't have to use these, but they're there because Scatter supports both Ethereum, Tron, and EOS. Now the Send EOS to Rob Scatter account I created has the Send EOS to Rob EOS account attached to it. It has a Tron account and an Ethereum account. If you do want to get the private keys to this Tron account and Ethereum account it created, you simply come up to the Export Private Keys feature up here in the corner. But we are going to go back. So this is in my vault. Let me just go back. Vault up here. This is where you will always go to add your keys. I now have Send EOS to Rob. That is the account name I chose for this Scatter account. And in this Scatter account, I have the Send EOS to Rob EOS account attached to it. If we click into it, Send EOS to Rob EOS account. And also the Tron account and Ethereum account it made for me. So now you can use Scatter just like you would use Scatter any other time. Let's open an EOS DAP, not using Chrome. So I'm going to use the Brave browser to open this up. And here I have EOS when pulled up. So I'm going to log in now. And since I'm not on Chrome, the only way it can log in is through the Scatter Desktop. So click Log In just to make sure Scatter Desktop is working. And now the Scatter Desktop will pop up with a new window. Do you want to log into EOS when? Log in. Select the account you want to use. I'm going to use send EOS to Rob Active. I have 0 0.0423 EOS to claim. I'm going to claim my EOS dividend. And check mark. And I just claimed my dividend. It did in action on the EOS network with my account attached to the Scatter desktop. So it is all set up and ready to use. You can now use Scatter on other browsers besides Chrome using the Scatter desktop. So to add any more accounts, you always come up to the vault section. I have send EOS to Rob attached. If I wanted to add another, click add. There you go. There's the new Scatter desktop. If you do have any questions on the Scatter desktop, you can leave them in the comments below. But that's going to do it for me for this one. If you guys did enjoy this walkthrough, please make sure to drop a like on it. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Click on that notification bell for more content coming your way. Mm -hmm.